I got lots of awesome Chelsea Dreamtopia boys to open and lots of these other ones too. Coming up after this. Dreamtopia. There's a lot of molded on tops and stuff with the Dreamtopia line, but sometimes it doesn't matter, especially when you're a mermaid because, or a merman, because your tail is supposed to be one. I don't really like the molded on tops, but sometimes the colors are so awesome that I can't resist. I think that these two go together very, very well. So I bought them as a collection. This guy has had a little bit of a head change. And I need to get more of these because there's more Kens, like the long-rooted hair one. I want to put him also on a mermaid body. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to have time to open. I'm going to open up as much as I can. Probably I won't be opening these, but I am going to open up these three new Chelsea boys and girl from the new collection. And then I have these first mermaids, I think that I really want to get open for a long, long time. And that's why I didn't buy any of the other new mermaid girls. And I just bought the boy. And there's a lot more in this kingdom collection of on land princess and prince ones. And there is one of these Chelsea's that are also, I think that they're just like a mermaid, but I chose the one with the green hair cause she was the coolest looking one. And of course I had to get the boy and we'll see. I'll wait until they're on sale. I got these at Toys R Us. They were $10 each, they're expensive. I also have this set. Now, do I have the whole Dreamtopia boy collection? I think there might be like a wedding pack or something. I think there might be a big deluxe pack that's available at Target that has another boy or maybe it's this boy that's in it so maybe i do have all of the dreamtopia boys if you know if these are the three dreamtopia chelsea boys you let me know in the comments below thank you oh yeah and probably at the end of the video i will show you my baby mermaid collection which i do have the whole set however i think i'm missing a yellow tail even though i have one of every head but i would like to get at least one of them with a yellow tail but it's impossible and they're blind bags and you never know what color tail you're gonna get. And then the right combination to get, so everyone is a different, I'll, I'll explain that later on at the end. And they come in boxes like that. But can we just open up one of these boys? I'm gonna open up the Merm boy right away. I think he is the one that I'm most excited about and his tail comes elastic banded to his body. You do have to assemble him. That means he's going to be taller than a normal Chelsea. And the I think they're all translucent, which I love that. And that just makes the toy so much better. There is a little clip. It looks like it's kind of once you put it in, you don't want to take it out. And so I'm not going to wear my glasses because I need to make sure that there are no mistakes. And I don't know where my glasses are. That's the first mistake. So I want to make sure there's not a front and a back and that it's the same on both sides. I believe it is the same and it's probably going to swivel anyway. So yeah, it doesn't make any difference. And it goes together very seamlessly and there's sparkles in the translucentness and there's sparkles on his tail and I don't think they're coming off. I think it's a nice embedded paint. He comes with a collar that is elastic banded to him. And that I don't really like when that happens because you might have to keep the elastic band on there to keep it into place. Usually that is the thing. Well, it is staying on. I mean, you turn him upside down, which he's swimming, it is going to fall off of the shoulders. But the best part is we have a shirtless baby mermaid and he has green hair. And that is so cool. He looks so cool. Awesome. So cool. Never did I think that we would get these. The posability is twist here, bend at the waist just that much. The arms, of course, go all the way around and the head is just turns around. Not a ball joint there or anything. He's cool. He is so cool. He can be there with Daddy Mermaid. He's looking real small. Let me stick him in the front, forefront here. Really, really cute. Okay. So let's move on to 
um, some of these classic mermaids first before we open up some of the new ones again. And it looks like she's one of the candy ones. And the candy stuff usually is my favorite because of the sick colors that come on them. It's disgustingly gross color combinations. And she is, in fact, an ice cream comb. Chelsea doesn't have as soft hair as Barbie. For some reason, they use wiry, more plasticky hair. And I guess it's because they're for the water or maybe because they don't think kids will care as much. And this fin looks like a gourmet birthday cake. And it does have a front and a back, but it probably rotates anyway. Yeah, so it doesn't matter which way you put it on. The same exact articulation. She, however, has a painted on top. With the Chelsea's, because they're so small, I don't care as much about the molded on tops and they're kind of more like little action figures to me, so that makes me happy. The rooted hair kind of drives me crazy. I mean, it's just like having a she toy, so that's fun and cool, and I'm going to stick her on this stand, and you can look at her right there. She's looking real, really cute, and I probably need more stands. Okay, I'm going to open up the rest of these older series since I have the whole set of these, and it took me a while to hunt these down. There is also a deluxe pack where you can dress a very dark complected Chelsea in princess, mermaid, or fairy costume, or you can mix and match them. And I have the darker complected one, but I don't have the Chelsea one, and I'm still waiting to find that, and that is something that I definitely need to get. I'll have to do a Chelsea collection and show you which ones I'm missing and which ones I have in the near future, maybe. This tail has different sized stars on the front and the back, I guess, but who knows which way is the front and the back. And she's got a little cloud, I believe that is, in her hair. That is a cute clip. And then I like her little bikini top. And I didn't really show you her bow and crown on this one. They all get a hair accessory, apparently. And she's looking real, real cute. And she's an orange. And let's take a look at the third one from this wave. It says you can be anything, Barbie. And she's more like a little Indian princess. She's a mermaid princess. So she's got a crown or a tiara. And it is translucent. You know I love that. And she's got shiny metallic jewelry on belt and necklace and wow wait till you see this tail which is total bejeweled she is very rich and then it's got not as much bejeweling on the back and it's got a translucent rim none of the other ones had that translucentness i think it's too detailed for me i do like how this turned out but i think it's too detailed up there for me I, get, I really like these ones more. Oh, and her hair is elastic banded down for some reason. None of the other girls had that. And that is what she looks like. Oh, and it's a whole headband that goes on her head. This is a headband, but this cloud is a clip, which is not really clipped into her hair. It's tied with an elastic band. I have so many more Dreamtopias that I do have to open, so we will eventually get them and I'll get newer Dreamtopias and I'll open them with my other Dreamtopias. I don't think you guys like Chelsea as much as I do, but I love the Chelsea's because like I said, they're like cute little action figures. Let me clean up some of this mess and get it out of the way. Let's open up this new girl. She is so awesome. Oh, her hair comes out so much. It's still not very soft hair but it's really, really cute, and boy does it get big. So she's got a little crown and it's fastened into her hair, which I don't like that. And then she's got this cute little skirt on, and the elastic isn't very tight on this, but man, is that skirt ever detailed, because it's got the tool border, and then it's got this, it's all finished here at the top. And then I've not seen these translucent sandals before, and those are incredible. She is cute. And I think my favorite from the whole collection of girls anyway. She might be my favorite anyway because I don't know if I like this boy's outfit. But before we look at this newer boy, let's open up this boy. And I really hope I have all of the Chelsea boys from the collection. I really like the back of this card too. That looks magical for sure. 
I've never seen a Dreamtopia movie. Oh man, this has strawberry shortcake vibes with the socks and shoes. That is something that we do not see very often, especially in Chelsea. Now that is detail. I love that. And look at those little black loafers are cute. Wow, this is much better than I thought it was. And he's got two pieces on. Oh man, I hope I find more of these. I think I would buy these for their accessories to mix and match. Look at that very nice pair of black shorts with the gold stitching at the end. Nice. And then he's got this blazer and all of its trim and stuff is also in gold stitching, but the embellishments are not real. They are printed on, but he's pretty cute. I'm super impressed. And I think his name is Otto. I thought that was the name of the cutest little puppy that is included, but I think it is the boy. If you know the answer to that, please leave a comment down below and let me know if it's the dog's name Otto or the boy is named Otto. But look at that dog's bum and look at his face and he is cute and he's got a little crown on and that crown is so cute. I love him. The set is worth it just for the puppy itself and the collar can come off. That's really cool. You could probably use this as a Barbie necklace if you wanted. And then this is the Chelsea. So she has an unfinished edge on her rainbow skirt, which pulls down and she's just got like a bathing suit on and a nuclear love <laughs> t-shirt on or the leotard on. And then she comes with these purple boots and she's got painted on legs which does not really happen that often that they're molded in this blue color. But considering she's normally molded all anyway, it doesn't matter. And she has a bow with a heart in her hair. And it is a whole headband and it is elastic banded and down, which I won't remove that. Her hair is in a ponytail and I think that's the way that they want it. I mean, I might change all of this one day. Hey, this new girl not being featured. She should be up front and center because she's new and special. Not that you guys aren't. Oh, now I'm blocking the new girl. Okay. Whoa, there's a lot of cute stuff going on here. Uh, did I run out of stands? No. Did I run out of dolls? No. I've got one more. I'm going to stick the puppy under Otto's arm. I'm actually not done yet with these because they come with accessories. There's a pinwheel. I don't think that these are going to stick in their hands very well because of how they're positioned. So if I do stick this in her hand, she's going to be holding it to the side. I guess that's okay. It's really nice. It's hollow on the back. Then there's this purple star wand, which is also kind of hollow on the back. Oh, it has a thumb holder. Usually that stuff works better for Barbie than it does for Chelsea, but I will try to stick it in his hand with it. And I am managing to get it in, so I will give him the fairy wand. Cute. And they also come with these sunglasses. It's a pretty awesome set. I'm going to try to put them on him because he has less accessories. But they have a red rim and they probably look very Beatles on him with his Sergeant Pepper outfit. There he is with all this stuff. Oh, I knew that was going to happen. We'll just stand him right here. And we've got the last boy to open who is awesome and he is a little prince. And can't wait to see how his clothes are. I could tell that these were made with more plasticky material, very shiny. But the best part is two pieces. So his shorts are a special separate piece. And it kind of looks like a skort, but it's not. And see the sparkles in it? That's really cool and very majestic and dreamtopia. And then he's got this sleeveless top on. It's the gun show. That is very costumey plastic. And of course it is printed on detail, but it's still pretty nice. I guess they were trying to make it look expensive by making it look shiny and stiff, but I'm not sure. I guess it does. And then he's got this crown on, and now he has the same hairdo as this guy. So I guess it's glued on. Maybe it's a slightly different mold because I do see that there's probably a hole in his head where the crown is plugging in. I'm okay with him having this hat on. If I was to rebody this guy, it would be funny to have his green hair. Now, the thing that I can't believe I haven't mentioned yet is his translucent elf shoes. And they are amazing. Stu say Chelsea on the bottom. 
And wow, those are like glass slippers for him. You can also see where his molded on hair is being attached to his head. So I wonder if he is a regular Chelsea head. Let's see if his face looks the same. Yeah, his face looks the same. I bet you underneath he's just a bald Chelsea. One day, maybe if I have extra ones, I'll try to take the wig off. Anyway, that is the awesome collection of new Chelsea's that I have. I have a lot more Dreamtopia Chelsea's. If that's something that you're interested in seeing or my other big boy and girl Dreamtopias, I hope you will like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. And be sure to stay to the end of this video and I will show you the Dreamtopia babies. So let's take a look at some of these Dreamtopia babies. They come in six different hairstyles and you can get six different shell colors and you can get, I think, six different tail colors. Apparently I have seven, so I got doubles of one for some reason. It was probably to get the shell color, the last shell color. So two shades of pink a green, a yellow, a blue, and a purple. And those are the colors of the tails that you can get to. And then I believe all of the heads come with the same body colors. I'm pretty sure that is. I think you always get this head with this body and this head with this body, but these are random. So you never know what tail you're gonna get. And I have one of every color and I opened up a lot of these. I mean, a lot. And I never found a yellow one. Yeah, I don't think I ever found a yellow one. Wait, that can't be true. Maybe it is true. Did I get rid of some of the ones that I yet? Anyway, I need one with a yellow tail. So the one that I have two of, this she was very rare and very hard to find, but I eventually hunted her down. It appears that I could get either one of these with a yellow tail and I would be happy because then it would replace the other one. But right now I have the six different ones with five different colored tails. And hopefully I do find one of these two girls with yellow tails. They're blind boxes. You never know what you're going to get. And they're really expensive right now, but maybe one day I will find boxes of them in a discount store and I'll buy them all and I wouldn't mind having a whole school of these little babies because you have to admit they're super cute. So you can check out my other videos of me opening these and I never did show you me finding my last one but I did in fact find her. Maybe I did. I might have done a video where I found her but I never did repost a new picture on Instagram. She's super special and super cute. And if you're unfamiliar with this new baby size, they are slightly smaller than Chelsea's. They're Chelsea's little baby sisters. Holy Dreamtopia madness.